and obsession. Um, it's a subject actually that you hear a lot of stories about, isn't it? You hear a lot of weird and freaky things about with regard to obsession and possession. But oftentimes we don't understand what's really going on behind the scenes. What's really going down with regard to it? Why does it actually happen? What's occurring? And I thought perhaps today some of the things I could do is actually read a part of an autobiography, uh, autobiography of David Hawkins who, who came up with the whole scale of consciousness uh, idea and illustrate to you how spirits, through this biography, how spirits actually do connect to people and how they then influence people throughout their life and how the connection is maintained and what happens when the connection drops out. Like I said yesterday, many of us are not aware of how strongly spirits are influencing our day-to-day -day life through our emotional condition. And oftentimes, unfortunately, it's looked upon as a good thing. We were speaking this morning uh, through Monica to, us, to the, the leaders of the oneness movement in the spirit world. It's the 